Hello guys, today we're gonna have a look on this tiny digital oscilloscope. The specs are right here and let's have a look what's inside. Inside we will find the main unit, two probes and manual on a single sheet of paper. Let's have a close look on the main unit. There are two ports here for probes. This one is the internal generator and this one is the input. There's only one button and there's a USB mini on the top for charging and sending data to the computer. Inside this little slit is a tiny switch that disconnects the battery from the unit. So it doesn't draw any power from the battery uh, if it's stored in a warehouse or it's shipping to you. I have connected the probes and connected the output of the generator with the input of the oscilloscope. So let's have a look on the waveform. It takes some time to boot up. There. And we can uh, see it right away. Uh, you can set the generator here in the menu. Test signal. There is 100 kilohertz. Let's set it for 1 megahertz. Yeah, it's not a really a square wave but you get the idea you can also enable uh, the measuring of the frequency here in the menu and we see 1 megahertz right here if you happen to get this oscilloscope uh, I recommend to download the most recent firmware from the website of the manufacturer I will put the link down below they're constantly adding new features and fixing bugs. This oscilloscope doesn't have really any fancy specs. Uh, even the probes are really bad and I recommend to replace them with something better. But it's really lightweight, it's cheap and portable. The battery lasts, I don't know, about an hour of measuring. That's enough for... Uh, almost any task and if you're playing with microcontrollers like Arduino it will do the job thank you for watching and see you next time